Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 2 Lesson 9, The Pyramid Pantry. Our purpose for listening today is to review what we know about staying healthy. We will explain the importance of balanced diet and the food groups. And we will listen to understand the word nutrients. Can you say nutrients? Our read aloud today is called The Pyramid Pantry. Let's talk a little bit about the five keys to keeping healthy. The first one was to eat well, to eat good food. Then we need to exercise, get your heart pumping. When you're tired, you should rest and get plenty of rest every night. Keeping clean will help you stay healthy, brushing your teeth, taking a shower or a bath, and going to a doctor like me, Dr. Wellbody, for your checkups. My friend is going to tell you all about good food today. Hi, I'm Chef Steph, a friend of Dr. Wellbody's. Welcome to my restaurant, the Pyramid Pantry. Dr. Wellbody eats lunch here every day. It is a very cool restaurant, if I do say so myself. Do you know what a pyramid is? It is a shape with triangular sides. My restaurant is shaped like a pyramid. The menu is like a pyramid too. The food we serve is delicious, but that's not all. It's nutritious. That means it's good for you. Have you ever heard of vitamins and minerals? They are nutrients that your body needs to stay alive. Nutritious foods supply your body with the nutrients you need. They give you the energy you need to play and learn all day. They keep you healthy and help you grow. But not all foods have the same amount of nutrients. So which foods are best for you? My pyramid menu is one way to help you figure all this out. The foods are divided into groups. Each group has a different color stripe on the pyramid. Orange is for grains, like bread and cereal. Green for vegetables, like carrots and green beans. Red for fruits, like apples and oranges. Blue for milk and milk products. Purple for meats and beans. Some stripes are wider than others. You should choose most of your foods from the groups with the wider or bigger stripes because you need more of these foods to stay healthy. Each stripe gets narrower or smaller as it goes up the pyramid. That's because every food group has some foods that are better for you than others. There is one skinny yellow stripe on the pyramid too. Do you see it? It stands for oils and for fats like butter and mayonnaise. Why do you think this stripe is so skinny? Because you need to eat a little oil or fat every day, but not very much. Oils help you grow, keep you warm, protect your bones, help your brain think, and keep your skin and hair healthy. Some oils are better for you than others. For example, olive oil and canola oil are better choices than margarine and mayonnaise. What do I hear? Is all this talk of food making your tummy growl? That's what happens when you are hungry. If you are very hungry, your legs might feel a little weak. You might even feel a bit cranky. These are signs that your body needs food. Time to look more closely at the pyramid menu. Grains are a special type of grasses. Wheat, rice, oats, barley, and rye are all grains. Foods that belong to this group are either whole grains or refined grains. For example, bread is in the grain group. Some grains like whole wheat bread are made from whole grains. 
other breads, like white bread, are made from refined grains. Refined grains have had most of their healthy parts taken out, whereas whole grains still have all the nutrients your body needs to grow. Whole wheat bread, brown rice, whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat crackers, oatmeal, rice cakes, and popcorn, yum, are all good choices. Always choose smaller amounts of refined grain foods like white bread, white bagels, and cornflakes. And remember to choose only a little bit of sugary refined grain foods like cupcakes, donuts, and sweetened cereals. Too much sugar is not good for your body. Look at this picture and tell me what foods you think belong to the next group on the pyramid. That's right, it's vegetables. Vegetables come in a rainbow of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white. Did you know that the color of a vegetable tells what it can do for your body? For example, dark green veggies like broccoli and spinach help build strong teeth and bones. Orange vegetables like carrots help you see well. Fried vegetables like onion rings and french fries are less healthy for your body because they are cooked in oil and fat. So just remember to choose a rainbow of vegetables, raw or cooked, but hardly ever fried. And your body will get all the nutrients it needs. Raise your hand if you like to eat fruit. Wonderful. Fruits are delicious and come in beautiful colors. Just like vegetables, it is important to choose a rainbow of fruits to get all the nutrients your body needs. The best fruits to choose are fresh fruits, like the ones you see in the picture. Pineapples, oranges, bananas, grapes, and blueberries. Dried fruits and canned fruits, jams and jellies, and fruit pies are all good too, just don't eat too many of them. This is the milk group, but as you can see, it includes other things as well. Products made from milk, like cheese and yogurt, these things provide your body with calcium and protein, things it needs to make strong teeth and bones and help you grow. It's best to choose low-fat milk and milk foods like skim milk, low-fat cheese, and low-fat yogurt. Eating fewer fatty or sweet foods like American cheese, frozen yogurt, ice cream, and milkshakes is always best. The last group is meat and beans. Beef, pork, chicken, fish, and turkey all belong to this group. But look at the picture. Do you see anything that doesn't seem to belong? Hmm, eggs and beans. So why are they there? They contain protein, just like meat. These different foods all work in the same way to help your body grow and move because they all contain protein. It's best to eat the meats grilled or roasted instead of fried in fatty cooking oil or butter. That means you should choose smaller amounts of fried chicken, chicken nuggets, hamburgers, and fish sticks. Now we have looked at foods in all six categories or groups included in the food pyramid. Let's see how we do at naming them. We have grains, vegetables, fruit, milk, proteins, and oils. The most important thing to remember is to eat a balanced diet. That means you must choose a variety of foods from each food group. Eating only grains or only meats will not provide your body with the nutrients it needs. Your body needs food from each group on the pyramid to help it grow. Are you ready to order some healthy meals from Chef Steph's menu? Don't forget, it's important to eat three, that's one, two, three healthy meals a day 
and to eat healthy snacks too. For breakfast, how about some oatmeal with fresh strawberries? Adding a glass of orange juice is a healthy choice as well. For lunch, may I recommend my roasted turkey sandwich with lettuce and tomato on whole wheat bread? How about some carrot sticks with yogurt dip followed by an apple? A glass of cold milk is not only a yummy addition, but it is healthy as well. And for dinner, how about trying some of my three bean vegetarian chili with a baked sweet potato? For dessert, low fat pudding with peaches sounds perfect, doesn't it? Snacking between meals is fine as long as you make healthy choices. Remember, healthy snacks will give you longer lasting energy and a healthier body. That brings me back to my pyramid. Did you notice the stairs going up the side? Do you know why they're there? They are there to remind you to keep moving. It's very important to not just eat healthy foods, but to also be physically active every day. That means you should participate in skateboarding, swimming, riding your bike, climbing in the playground, or any other sport that you like to do. Keeping active helps you stay the right weight for your body. It keeps your bones and muscles in good shape. It makes your heart and lungs stronger. If you get into the good habit of having fun while you are moving, it will help you stay healthy for the rest of your life. Dr. Wellbody will be back next time to wrap up all you've learned about your body. Great job.